If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have Saturday Legends. Typical Saturday video, guys. We have some nice legends to go over. We had a pretty, pretty fire Friday most fear drop, which of course was exciting, but the legend drop is pretty good as well. Now, of course, it's not gonna be as big names as you'd expect, of course, because obviously. We got Randy Moss yesterday, we got Ray Lewis, we got Lawrence Taylor, right? Like, those are about as big as some legends that we could ever see. So you can never expect these legends to be as good as that because you're not, you're not competing, right? We're only missing really one legend left in terms of, like, big name. At least I think. I mean, we'll probably have a few more. But Deion Sanders, definitely one of them. Like, we already have Ed Reed, Lawrence Taylor, Ray Lewis, uh, Randy Moss. We're really just missing, like, that Deion sanders as type guy and that's that's really it after that like not like for the year we're gonna get more upgrades obviously but that's like that big name like guy like that would be one more last legend week we have vic already but that's a big one right so we have legends today let me go check them out before we get into the video if you're into the channel hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course guys remember to be playing your legend solos because you are being going to be able to collect all these legends um tokens for the boss legend sometime in like january february give or take so make sure you guys are playing then and collecting your tokens so you can go ahead and actually get that but first things, guys, go to the sets and let's check out the new legends. If you guys are ever curious about what came out, the best thing to do is always go to sets because everything will pretty much be there. You won't be able to see stats and stuff from there, but you can see names. So, like, if you want to know if Most Feared Part 2 drop, you, know, you go to Most Feared, you go here, you see Release 2, you click in, and you can see all the players one by one as well as stuff. So, that's what I like to always start off with. So, legends right here, players, we have 26 total. We got Broderick, Thomas, and Mar uh, Marquise Pouncey. Marquise Pouncey, he might be a weirder legend for many people if you guys have been watching the NFL recently because he was just recently was actually like a really great NFL center. So it's like it's like that Nick Mangold effect when he got his legend card and you were like, yeah, I just watched him play. Like, you know, like it just feels like he was just on the field. Andre Johnson, same effect. But let's go check these guys out. As per usual, guys, there will be a base, uh, base legend as well as their set pieces and their LTD boss legend like counterpart, which is the one plus overall. A lot of people always ask, like, base legend versus legend, uh, LTD legend. Honestly, guys, it's almost the same thing, because the base legend, I would always look at prices, right? So the LTD legend is typically here, the base legend is usually here in price, and then you want to power up the base legend to get to LTD, like, level, the power up and everything ends up costing here. So they usually cost around the same, whether you power them up or not. Uh, like, if you want to power them up, it's going to cost around the same price, on but training everything to get them to that level. So it's kind of the same thing, but sometimes it's probably better to just, it depends. If you want to keep the guy long term, you power him up. But if you just want to go ahead and get the good guy to just use, like, if you just want, let's say you don't plan on Vic being your year long quarterback, right? You purchase his LTD, you sell it later. But if you want to, if you plan on keeping, like, a Larry Allen all year, then you power him up because you're going to want to get his next upgrade. So I guess it really just depends on your team and what you plan on keeping because again if you buy the ltd for more a more expensive price but you just want it for now it makes sense because you don't want to waste all the training and you can always just sell them back but if you want to actually power them up later that's going to suck because then you have the ltd that you paid extra for then when it comes time to power up again to repay all that training again to power them up anyways that you would have just done with the lower one so it really just depends on what your team's looking like and how you plan to construct your team so broderick thomas down to 652 it's still pretty expensive nonetheless uh let's just click on one of these so we don't get you know i i hate when i'm trying to show you guys a card and that happens 94 overall right outside linebacker now very interesting that we just got lawrence taylor and we're already seeing another right outside linebacker very comparable and i will compare him to lawrence taylor in a second 90 speed 93 excel 88 strength 94 tackle 89 play rec 94 block shed 94 power move 71 finesse move so it's pretty clear he is not a finesse rusher he is purely a pass rusher but here's the thing a uh, power rusher but here's the thing that's important he gets a 90 94 power move and 94 block shit right that's really really good he's gonna be an elite run stopper and elite power rusher but the important thing too is that he gets 94 tackle which means he shouldn't get many not many broken tackles should happen on him but he gets 90 speed 93 excel that is insanely fast for an outside linebacker he's also six foot four 56 catching though so he won't be like you know like when you want to pop him out into his own or if you're running a three four and he stands up for a little bit he's not going to be the best of hands low agility as well but he does get 89 jumping which can be usable 86 change of direction 94 impact blocking he does get 94 hit power like this card's going to be really good i mean off the edge in a 3-4 scheme even have a nickel if you put him at the end spot like he's gonna be he's gonna be good for you he's gonna be able to stop the run he's gonna be able to pass rush and that speed is gonna be really good especially with how this game plays and you guys already know the deal with uh how quarterbacks and scramble this year like you don't need escape artists which makes almost any quarterback with above 80 speed capable of just kind of taking off now 
the thing is with like like daniel jones right, he used to be able to outrun ends easily in the beginning of the year now with a guy like Bradaric thomas if he tries to out if he try to outrun him he should be able to keep up the only guys that the only guys that these kind of ends with 90 speed will probably have a problem with will be escape artists because that initial user input when you take off off the edge will outweigh an outside linebacker unless they're like in a container or a nice release spot otherwise they're still gonna be outran but the 90 speed means they can be pursued right because here's the thing when Broderick thomas is on the edge right and let's say you have michael vick and you're scrambling out Broderick thomas is going to release right and here to here he has the angle to catch up to him right like that's always going to be the deal he has that angle but the thing to notice is that typically with an end like let's say Clayus campbell like a 79 speed he'll have the angle but you can just still loop around him Broderick thomas with a good pursuit with that speed will be able to at least meet him to the end so it'll make vick you know vick will still get a few yards but he'll have to run out for three if someone else wants to take a hit versus being able to just hook around him and run up field there's no one else there like if you're in a man like you're in a man coverage and they're deep like that's when you get the big play so that's what's important about speeds like this but moving on guys let's go check out uh i do want to compare him real quick to well let's start off with the next legend first we have marquise pouncey then i'm gonna go compare to lawrence taylor because you guys are probably asking who's the better guy to actually use marquise pouncey 93 strength really good strength 93 awareness that's awareness is super important this year and next gen especially like i mean I don't know exactly which stat matters more, but I've noticed like with safeties, especially like when I was playing franchise mode and sim, I had like a Josh Jones, right? And when his awareness and play rec is super low, when they throw like a deep crosser, he has to almost like freeze and like look a little bit to understand where the play is going. He doesn't like move and flow because he's just not that smart of a player on the field. And being the center, the center's like the quarterback of the line, right? Like he's in charge, like in, at least in real life. So awareness is good for a center. So he knows what will block to pick up, where to cut back to, where, where to protect backside to. 92 pass block, 92 pass block power, 93 pass block finesse, 93 run block, 92 run block power, 93 run block finesse. What I like about this card is like how I usually typically, what I say about cards, right? I hate when there's 94 overall cards and they have stats below 80, like below 90. He's an all 92 to 93 above kind of guy right now. Still no 94 stats, which doesn't always ever make sense to me, but really good. Six foot four height, 304 pounds. The weight's really good as well in this year with next gen. 79 agility is not horrible 75 speed and 79 excel is actually really good for a center to be completely honest with you guys of 304 pounds with 75 speed that's not bad especially when he has to pull um you know 91 lead blocking 92 impact blocking pretty pretty good stuff he's a center so you know you're not we're not we're not raising our glasses so we're not getting all excited for him but it's still fun it's still it's still a good card especially if you're trying to get those end game type guys now remember like i said based on how this game plays typically if you're just above 90 he should feel similar to a pouncy card you might not need the upgrade you may want to just wait for 99 overall stack kind of guys and then we're gonna go to most feared i want to show you guys the lawrence taylor cards you guys can get a pretty good idea of what you're working with in comparison so lawrence taylor is a lot cheaper keep in mind right a lot cheaper and he can be powered up to a 94 overall so keep in mind the stats are going to get the plus ones so speed and excel right lawrence taylor gets a 90 speed and 92 excel so he's going to be one less excel i believe or one or two less excel than bird eric thomas so speed wise bird eric thomas takes the cake strength lawrence taylor have a 90 i think bird eric thomas takes the cake there too tackle and play rec bird eric thomas uh bird eric thomas has way better tackle like way better tackle um lawrence taylor has the same play rec block shed for Derek thomas takes him power move for Derek thomas takes him but again above 90 should be similar the key thing is gonna be the finesse move and now many people might say you know typically you only need one of them 90 right as long as you have one of them 90 you're gonna be an elite rusher but having an elite finesse and power move kind of matters a little bit more sometimes because here's the thing power moves and finesse moves are different right? power moves are like those jj watt like bull rush you know you you power through them right that's gonna be good when you're taking on like double teams like if you take on a double team that's gonna be when you're gonna like like the aaron donald if you've seen aaron donald in real life and he has a double team and he just powers through the in the middle seam of them that's gonna be power moves right but then when you're one-on-one -on, -one on the edge and they can only power move you're still gonna do a power move and when you're one-on-one -on, -one on the edge you kind of want to use the finesse move because that's gonna be when you get you beat the one-on-ones real quick finesse moves typically are gonna be what get you those insta sacks right not power move finesse moves are the ones where like you're on the edge and you instantly go like this you like the chop and you cut through like the miles garrett uh, in real life kind of you know animations that's what Lawrence Taylor can go ahead and do. But Eric Thomas probably won't have access to any of those moves. He's going to be a strict, like, blow up double teams. Now, if you can get Lawrence Taylor and Bird Eric Thomas on, like, the same side or start them both and put them on opposite sides and Bird Eric Thomas can take a double team, and that would be good because if Bird Eric Thomas takes a double team and Lawrence Taylor gets a single, it's going to be really good. Now, as a, as a card overall, as, like, a stat-wise, Bird Eric Thomas pretty much kills him in every stat, and that's, that's important. But the finesse move, again, Lawrence Taylor is going to be the guy that when he's double teamed, he's going to break it. When he's single coverage, he's going to get insta sacks. Like, that's going to be the case with Lawrence Taylor. And it's not so much for Derek Thomas. Lawrence Taylor also hits a 69 catching, which will make him a lot better hands-wise. You have to bop him into his zone for whatever reason. Change of direction, 87, impact blocking, and the hit power is going to be a 91. So overall, guys, Derek Thomas looks like the better card. But I think Lawrence Taylor might, and it's Lawrence Taylor, guys. He just typically plays better. If you guys have any feedback on that, comment down below. That's what it, guys. 
thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you are into the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course guys if you guys need coins pick many of these players head down below to my sponsor super cheap coins make sure to use my code thank you for watching i'm out peace